Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Hotel Sierra Zero, Zulu Papa X-Ray, aka Oscar November 7 Oscar, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Currently I'm uh, listening on uh, 10 meters and uh, it's uh, about uh, um, 7 o'clock in the morning in Thailand. And this is the QRM that we're facing every day on 10 meters, uh, as you can see. We got all these spikes and uh, uh, we have it very strongly when we have the antenna pointed towards uh, China. So China happens to be in the direction of North America. So in fact, if you look at the map here with uh, Thailand in the center of the map um, and you have the azimuthal uh, world uh, map, you can see that uh, when I'm pointing towards North America, I need to point more or less to almost zero degrees to reach the west coast and uh, sorry, the east coast and uh, about 25 degrees to reach the west coast, as you can see, 27 degrees to be more correct and more precise. So. Um, yeah, this is Canada here, this is North America, this is uh, Mexico. So the problem that we're facing here in Southeast Asia is this QRM level. I have been operating in different locations, um, different places in Thailand, different uh, setups, different antennas, and uh, everywhere is the same, especially when you have the capability to be at another uh, home QTH of somebody else where they also have antennas uh, with a beam antenna. You can definitely see a huge difference in QRM levels when we turn the beam towards uh, North America. So definitely uh, not a very nice thing to have. Um, and it's very hard for us to actually uh, receive any stations. Uh, probably lots of stations, they hear us, but trying to keep for to come back to our calls, but uh, we uh, can barely hear them. And you see these spikes, they are quite high. Uh, they go to signal levels of nine, so uh, pretty high. And uh, it's very uh, hard to have a conversation uh, in these uh, circumstances. Um, I'm not sure if my assumption is right, but uh, from all the research I've been doing, I've never had a clear answer from anybody what is this kind of QRM or what's the cause of this kind of QRM? And uh, as far as I have gathered this information, people and some people, they just pointed out that they are using RF drying and RF welding machines in China. And these machines, they definitely make QRM on the entire um, upper section of the HF band. Uh, I've been going through the uh, band and going up to even uh, 30 megahertz and once you reach uh, 30 megahertz okay uh, it becomes quiet so uh, I'll go down and once I reach the border of the 30 megahertz frequency range uh, so then you can start to see these spikes so you can see there is one over here there's a few over here it's not that bad as you can see but once I get closer to the handband you can see that the QRM level will increase dramatically very quickly so you can see there's even more spikes here now we're now on 29 megahertz here and when I go even further down and let me see, just hold on a moment. You can see these very high spikes. And if you want to know how it sounds like, you hear them in Europe too, but not as pronounced. So it's not like as frequent and as intense as what you have over here. There's a lot of FM stations here, a lot of uh, Japanese uh, pirate stations operating on uh, the handbands here I'm uh, getting into the handbands um, of course my 
receiver is a little bit more optimized, so um, it's a, not a 100% representation on what's going on, but you can definitely see that these QRM spikes are much higher, as you can see. That's uh, very high. And the further you go down, you get more and more of this QRM. There you go. It looks like uh, a very windy day on the sea or a stormy day on the sea where you have hundreds of these spikes. I don't know what this signal is. They also have this kind of phenomena. Okay. And uh, for the sake of the video, I will go to even 27 megahertz. And you can see 27 is really awful. I'll go to 27600 now. See all these spikes. Most of the time they are in this direction. So uh, they're going from a high frequency band. Sometimes you can see them going up. I don't think it's atmospheric because if it would be atmospheric, it would come from anywhere. You see here, it goes up and down. Um, and now I'll go even lower to 26 megahertz. And you can see it's very bad. And now I'll uh, just go further down. And if these are RF drying and RF welding machines, and this is why I think it's RF drying and RF welding, is because um, during Chinese New Year in February, um, I see that all this QRM is just vanishing like snow to the sun. Um, and um, once Chinese New Year is at the end, you can see these spikes starting to build up again. So I think it's really indeed RF welding and RF drying machines. If you guys have any uh, idea here, 25 megahertz seems to be better. So I'm going a little bit out of the scope of the antenna. So let me just go back to the uh, 10 meter band. Look at this. Very hard to hear in North America. So if anybody has any suggestions on the cause or the source of this QRM, please let me know. I would greatly appreciate your input. Uh, leave a comment under this video and uh, wish you all a very uh, good afternoon from uh, the Kingdom of Thailand. This is Hotel Sierra Zero, Zulu Papa X-Ray signing off.